Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine Ertel. So today I'm going to be trying out the new Huda Beauty concealer. This is the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. Now I was pretty excited to try this out because I heard it was super full cover and I'm all about that. But I've been wearing it for a few days now so I kind of have an idea of how I feel about it. So the concealer retails for $30 and you do get 0.34 fluid ounces of product. And the shade I picked out is Salted Caramel. The first thing I usually do with concealer is carve my brows out, so that's what we're going to do. This concealer does have a metal tip applicator, which I really like because it is cooling, it's soothing. It's supposed to help deflate puffiness under your eyes whenever you apply something cool there. So I think that's why they went with this applicator. It also is very easy to clean and stuff like that. So I'm going to apply some to the back of my hand. That way I can take my flat brush and carve out my brows. This is the new world you told me lightly Oh, and how could it end? Let it fall in my lifetime So this is what the carve out the carvation looks like. Um I think it is a very high cover product and I will get into the coloring and stuff like that and why I love this coloring. So I'm just going to blend this out with this Luxie brush. This is the Luxie 120 detail brush. I did get this brush from Gen Beauty. So this is what my brows are looking like. Now on some days where I want a lot of coverage I do use concealer before I apply foundation. So I'm going to do that today because that's what actually what I've been doing this entire week for work. I've literally just been using this concealer and that is it. So I will take some concealer and just apply it under my eyes to just hide the puffiness and dark circles and just look a little bit more alive. We're just going to apply the concealer right under the eye. This is why I love this concealer shade so much because it does have a hint of orange in there and at first it looks kind of scary because I was like, mm, I don't know about this. But it actually does help hide dark circles because it has a slight color correcting effect to it. So we're going to just blend this out again. Alright, so I applied the concealer and I'm sure you can tell because I can see it in the viewfinder that it is just amazing. It literally just color corrected everything all in one. It just looks so bomb. I love that about it because the color blends into my skin while still color correcting, which is amazing. I love that. So I'm going to apply my foundation and then we're going to apply concealer as we normally would under the eye and just kind of set everything. So I used the Too Faced Born This Way for foundation. So now I'm going to apply the concealer under my eye. And then we're going to use the Beauty Blender to blend this out. Okay, so now I'm going to just set my concealer. So now we're going to use the Huda Beauty powder in Kanufa to set under the eye. And I find that this powder works really well with this 
concealer, which shouldn't be surprising because it's, you know, the same brand, but it works really, really well with the concealer. This is the finish with the concealer and the powder. I really love the finish. I feel like it's super flawless. It looks amazing. It just really is a nice full cover concealer. Again, I love the coloring. When I use the yellow powder, it kind of makes it more yellow under my eyes. So I really, really love that. Um, the coloring itself does help with dark circles, like I said earlier. So I really love that about it. The applicator is really nice. It's definitely different and I do like it. It's easy to clean and it doesn't get super messy. So I do like that about it. I love the concealer so far. I hope she does launch more shades because that's always better. More is always better when it comes to shades. I think you guys should try it out if you love full cover concealers. Definitely give this one a try. It does have the same smell as the Huda Beauty foundation. So keep that in mind. I don't mind the smell, but if you mind it, then you should know that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up, comment down below what your thoughts are in the concealer. If you'll be picking it up, if you won't, whatever you want to let me know, comment down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.